izi na ganya da radit ganus de ne Johnson si unja da ro rocks ta kwa hi ganzi wat ne ganun hada dun ha gedu ta kwa der hada kwa kanto Not your brother. You seek land, you would not. Land that is not yours, nor any person. I only wish Signing our lines over to you, then we'll be as one in your debt forever. Sir William may have a point. What hope have we against their black powder and iron? Peace, peace. Have I not always been an advocate? Have I not always sought to protect you from harm? If you wish to protect us, then give us arms, muskets, and horses that we might defend ourselves. War is not the answer. Me remember, Stanwix. We remember you moved the borders. Even today, your men dig up the land, showing no regard for those who live upon it. Your words are honeyed, but false. We are not here to negotiate, nor to sell. We are here to tell you and yours to leave these lands. So be it. I offered you an olive branch, and you knocked it from my hand. Perhaps you'll respond better to the sword. Are you threatening us? Yes. Ah. Oh no. What have you done? Ensured an end to your schemes. You sought to claim these lands for the Templars. Aye, that we might protect them. Do you think that good King George lies awake at night, hoping that no harm comes to his native subjects? Are that the people of the city care one whit about them? Oh, sure. The colonists are happy to trade when they need food or shelter or a bit of extra padding for their armies. But when the walls of the city constrict, when there's crops that need soil, when there's... when there's no more enemy to fight, we'll see how kind the people are then. The colonists have no quarrel with the Iroquois. Not yet, but they will. It is the way of the world. In time, they'll turn. I... I could have stopped it. I could have saved you all. You speak of salvation, but you were killing them. I, because they would not listen. And so, it seems, neither will you.
Ayawas ne yahte hagum sare, amda hiya yu ne skana zizagum hajje.